mycosis fungoides, the rash that could be cancer, and the lymphoma that is first diagnosed, not by an internist, but by a dermatologist. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, and let's get started. If you have watched my previous video, and of course you should, on adult T-cell leukemia or lymphoma, we have learned that T-cell malignancies will have skin infiltration or a rash. Just a quick reminder, if you can help me reach 25,000 subscribers on YouTube, I'll start a new series on one of these systems and we will vote on it. I'll let you choose and you can choose more than one and we can do them together. Thank you so much in advance. Please consider sharing these videos if you like them. Now, mycosis fungoides is a wrong name. Why? Because it means fungus. And this is cancer. This is not fungus, although I wish it were, because it would have been easier to cure and treat. Mycosis fungoides is by far the most common cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. Neoplastic proliferation of the CD4 helper T-cells. Again, when there is a T-cell malignancy, there will be skin invasion. First, they come in patches, then plaques, then generalized erythroderma. Sometimes they form potrier microabses. Lately, lymphoma will go to the lymph node and to the visceral organs, plus you'll find some circulating tumor cells in the blood, and now we call this Cesarie syndrome. The guy was French, so we should say it Cesarie syndrome. French is always cool. So if you remember my analogy, the lemon and the lemonade, same stuff here, but instead of the lemon being the lymphoma, now it's a skin invasion or infiltration. So first we have skin problem such as a rash and we call this mycosis fungoides later on in the disease these cells will go into the blood leukemia and visceral involvement and we call that Cesarie syndrome from the lemon to the lemonade from the localized to the generalized from the mycosis to the Cesarie usually mycosis fungoides affect men in their mid-50s, most common in African Americans, and nobody knows why. Diagnosed by dermatologist usually, because it's a rash first. Differential diagnosis, eczema or psoriasis, that's why it's difficult to diagnose. Characteristic finding, this cell called Cesarie cell, thanks to the scientist who first discovered it. So let's do it again. First we have mycosis fungoides, skin involvement. By what? By the neoplastic CD4 helper T-cells. This skin involvement is called cutaneous T-cell lymphoma and it's very itchy. Start with patches, then plaques, generalized erythroderma. From the localized to the generalized. We do not have lymph node involvement yet. It will come later. They preferably or they come first in the buttocks okay that's why these cells sometimes are called buttocks cell what a weird name then we go from the single to the multiple to the nodules then complete deformation then after this we go to the systemic Cesarie syndrome lymphadenopathy now we have lymph node involvement usually of course generalized lymphadenopathy visceral lymphomas and leukemic cells in the blood. Note, same cells that were found in the skin are the exact same cells that are now found in the blood. These are called the Cesarie cells. They are atypical CD4 positive T lymphocytes. To diagnose it, you will need an experienced dermatologist to do a skin biopsy and a good pathologist to report these Cesarie cells, also known as buttock cells. They have this nice 
cerebriform nucleus, which looks like a brain. I don't know, like the sulci and gyri of the brain. I don't know. Then we have later, when it's Césarie syndrome, the peripheral smear, because it's now in the blood, we will find same exact cells. We call them Césarie cells. They are atypical lymphocytes. Treatment early, which means mycosis fungoides, radiation. Boom, it's localized. Give it a beam of radiation. We call this total skin electron beam radiation. Later, Césarie syndrome. Unfortunately, there is no cure. There is only palliative therapy, which means we try to help the patient symptomatically, but there is no cure. Topical steroids, phototherapy, retinoids, cytotoxic therapy. I hope in the future we can find a cure. Don't forget, retinoids are the same stuff that treat acne and the same stuff that treat acute promyelocytic leukemia, which is AML subtype M3. So let's wrap it up early. CD4 T cells in the skin, only in the skin. This is mycotis fungoides. Lymphoma in the lymph nodes and visceral organs, plus circulating tumor cells called Césarie cells or Buddox cells. Now we have Césarie syndrome. In the upcoming videos, we will talk about lymphomas as well as myeloproliferative disorders such as multiple myeloma, essential thrombocytosis, primary myelofibrosis, etc. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell, I'd like to see on Facebook or Twitter where you can ask me personal private questions and I answer almost all of them. Thank you so much for watching, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis and as always, be safe, stay happy and study hard.